Hi, I'm Nick Gray from Fandroid, and this is our first look at HTC Sense 8 Beta for non-HTC devices. HTC is currently beta testing its Sense 8 launcher for non-HTC devices. The app is currently in a closed beta, but the app managed to make its way to a handful of different sites. If you want to get it installed on your own device and take a look at the software yourself, check out the description below for the link. We installed the software on the Nexus 9 to get a look at what the software had to offer and also see how it performs on a tablet. At first glance, the HTC Sense Beta is very similar to the launcher that's installed on the HTC 10. In order to get BlinkFeed up and running, you will need to install News Republic from Google Play before it pulls in any news information. You get a standard home screen as well, allowing you to pull in your applications and folders and organize things how you like. The application drawer gives you a couple different options for organizing your apps. You can do so alphabetically, by most recent, or even a custom layout, allowing you to drag and drop icons wherever you want and even organize them into folders. What will get people to install Sense Home on their non-HTC devices is the theming engine that's built into the application. There are classic themes which can be used to skin the icons, wallpapers, sounds, and even HTC's clock widget. But HTC has also ported over its freestyle themes, allowing you to create custom homepage layouts with icons anywhere you want and stickers instead of app icons. If you can't find a theme that actually fits your style completely, you can actually mix and match different elements or even create an entire theme on your own. Right now, all the themes are free, but we imagine HTC is going to monetize the application by creating a paid theme section. We've used HTC Sense Beta on the Nexus 9 for about half a day and haven't experienced any real issues. It'll be interesting to see if HTC adds any additional functionality to Sense Home before it releases it out to the public. If you've managed to get HTC Sense Home Beta up and running on your non-HTC device, leave us a comment below and let us know your thoughts. Please hit the thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe to the Fandroid YouTube channel.